Okay, this should be a fairly quick one. And if the courts can't decide on this just as quick, uh, I would be wondering what the fuck went wrong. Um, basically, the ABC, with its usual bias showing, uh, making a worldwide issue of this thing. I'm trusting that this guy has been funded by green groups to take this case. Uh, I would wish he would lose an arm and a leg over this, but as he will be funded by other people to do this, I doubt he'll lose a damn thing. And I think that's a shame. I think the cost of this should come out of his fucking pocket. What are we talking about? The ABC News. Mark McVeigh is taking on REST Super on climate change and has the world watching. Oh, look, get fucked, cunt. Um... Uh, for a start, there is enough concern about uh, the v validity of climate change uh, messages going around and information going around that I think there's cause to tell you to just get fucked on that basis. But there are companies who invest in fossil fuels and so forth who exist, who use money and are open for investment. And how people invest is not your fucking business. Now... For those of you not in Australia, REST is obviously a company, a company and super is superannuation. Uh, superannuation in this country is our enforced private investment in our own uh, retirement. It's enforced because our employers are actually required to give, I think it's 10% of our income to superannuation. Um, this is in place of the old pension scheme, which was the government taxing us to give us uh, a retirement fund. They still tax us at similar levels, but apparently we don't get that fund anymore. I worked the first 10 years of my life under the understanding my taxes were going towards my pension. And I won't be getting that because I'm in the age group that's been ruled out for getting it. I also have no superannuation, having been an at-home father for 20 years. Um, so I've got bugger all, I'm not retiring very well, except if my partners support me as they continue to do. In any case, superannuation is our enforced, government enforced private investment in our own um, retirement. But apparently this has the world watching. And trust me, if the world is watching this, the world is fucking stupid because this is the most... It should be the most dead in the fucking water case ever bought in an Australian court. Pretty much, anyway. I'm guessing there are other stupid ones being bought, but this should never have made it this far. This dumb fuck is suing his company for investing in fossil fuels and non-renewable non sources of energy. Now, I had my retirement in a company which offered no investment in renew in non-renewable resources they invested primarily in renewable energy sources and i was with them until they started talking to me more about activism than investment to which i went back to a company that invests quite happily in all technologies and all investment does this fucking idiot get to decide what other people's companies invest in I'm telling you now, if I was, if this guy was suing my company and he's not, I would be counter suing him for trying to manipulate my investments. I, I seriously would take that case. I've got no fucking money, but I'd be taking it because this cunt doesn't, doesn't get to decide what I'm investing in with my retirement. That's what he's trying to do. Um, now, I actually dug up some really, it was really simple to find this information, but I dug up some information about superannuation to explain why this cunt's got no case. This cunt has no case because selecting your super fund, can I make the choice? Now, in the brief, it says to choose your own super fund and unhappy to choose your own super fund and unhappy with your fund your employer is using. Remember, you can roll over. SG contributa contribute contributions con yeah okay make into a uh, made into a particular super fund into a, uh, anyway the point is I'm not fucking reading that who wrote that shit um the point is we are free to roll over our superannuation to any company we 
wish, to take the risks we wish and have the investments we wish. And as I have stated, I was with a company that invested in everything except for fossil fuel technologies. Now, this guy could have done exactly the same. He's still capable of doing exactly the same. Nobody told him to stay with this company or demanded that he had to stay with this company. You can get in touch with your employer and say, I have changed companies. I want my money put in this new account. I myself rolled over my account from the one who didn't invest in fossil fuels. When they started talking about activism, I was worried they'd be funding activism. And I suspect fully that's exactly what they're doing. They're probably funding this dopey fuck. So I changed to a different investment company because I don't want my retirement funds invested in lazy leeches who can't get a job and fucking think that they should stand in the street stopping other people getting to their jobs. Fuck that shit. So, where did I find? I found this handy little thing called superguide.com.au and look, it says super for beginners and it's got instructions and it's got all sorts of things. Planning for retirement, super and tax, super fun performance. It's got a whole lot of stuff. And this is only one place that has such information. I mean, the government does offer its own uh, information about this stuff. You can actually set up your own superannuation company if you can jump through the hoops. I actually started to set one up myself because I didn't have a retirement fund and I did want to invest in certain paths and I thought I'll set one up for myself. But then they changed the rules on what I could invest in. It couldn't benefit me in any way. And yet what I wanted to invest in was something that although it would be part of the fund, would directly benefit me and be something that would be there after my retirement. So it would be something that I could roll the actual invested property direct to me. And apparently I'm not allowed to do that anymore. So I gave up and I went to a company that invest in renewables let's face it there's money in renewables and i don't have much money so any investment that pays is good but when you talk to me about funding uh activists you can go and take a flying leap so all of this is out there all of this information is out there this guy has access to this information as much as i or anybody else has right and like I said, this is everywhere, this information. The government offered this information freely. They force us to be involved in this uh, scam. And yes, I consider this to be a scam. Us, us investing our retirement money uh, at the bottom end of the food chain into uh, the, the stock markets is just a way to prop up stock markets. It has nothing to do with benefiting me. Uh, companies have gone bust before and people have lost their retirement funds. So uh, this is not really something I would prefer. I would prefer to pay the extra tax and have a pension waiting for me. How pathetic or meaningless that is, at least I'd know there was something there. But scam or not, this is a bigger scam. This guy here is the biggest fucking scammer that has ever ever lived probably well no the people who are funding him are probably the biggest scammers who ever lived in any case the abc reports that in july a landmark trial will take place in a sydney courtroom that could potentially change the way superannuation funds invest australia's almost three trillion retire in retirement savings and i tell you what if he wins i am going to counter sue i will I will counter sue personally. I will fundraise to counter sue. I will take him on because I do not want to be tied to companies which fund activism. And that's the way it went with the company that I was with that didn't invest in fossil fuels. I would rather have a company that honestly invests in fossil fuels and when those investments no longer pay, moves on to something else. This guy does not get to decide for the rest of us how our investments are spent. He can go and fuck himself. You can create your own super. You can create one with your friends. The company I was with was set up by a guy who just wasn't happy with the way investment funds were done. And, well, he's rolling in the cash now, isn't he? But 
fact is you can do these things. You are not stuck with the company you started with. He could have rolled out of rest into another company any time. And I'm not naming a company for him because I'm not fucking helping those people to invest in activism. But they're easy enough to find if you're smart enough to go looking. Um, yes, so my part in that three trillion in retirement savings, I don't want this cunt deciding how it's invested. Thank you. Uh, Mark McVeigh can't access his super money until 2055, but says climate change impacts are really uh, are already materialising, and therefore investors should be acting. Look, you are the investor. You are the person who rolls your funds to another fucking account. Grow the fuck up. You do not get to dictate for the rest of us whether we take climate serious climate change seriously or whether we invest in companies which do. Fuck you. Uh, this is the belief that led to the case against uh, 57 million billion superannuation retirement. <laughs> yeah, I don't give a flying fuck what led to it. This guy is a fucking clown. Key points, the McVeigh versus Rest case could set a precedent for the way global pension funds manage climate change. No, it cannot. You do not get to dictate how money is invested. You don't get to dictate how my money is invested. Right? I am such a person that I could draw my entire retirement fund out in three years. That's how little I have. There's a limit to how much you can draw. I could draw my entire fund in three years. And I could invest directly in a coal-fired power station, if that was my wish. And I'll tell you what, I'd rather do that than have you dictate how I put my retirement funds away. Go and fuck yourself. Experts warn litigation against listed companies related to climate change will rise in Australia this year, and I will fucking counter-sue if it has an effect on me. Because I can provide enough evidence that the climate change narrative has been manipulated to present to a court a case against other people deciding what I do or do not believe in. The private sector may be forced to lead action on climate change ahead of governments. A, B, fucking C, grow the fuck up. <coughs> Excuse me. Give up this fucking bias shit. Get your head out your fucking asses. Sick of this fucking shit. I should not be reading stories about other people deciding how my investments are put together. At all. At fucking all. Look, if the fossil fuel industry suddenly finds itself unprofitable, I will hope that my investments are rolled out of those things into other places. But it's the risk we take by having our retirement put away with investment companies that investments can go bad. And this is why the companies themselves only offer minimal returns. Because they they know that every time they invest, they take a risk. Anyway, uh, that's it for this video. I, I'm really fucking sick of the ABC pushing this shit. I'm really sick of clowns like this thinking they can decide how the rest of us live and what we believe. Um, uh, it's, it's why, as an anti-theist someone who would see an end to religion if I could will stand and defend people's beliefs because they have the right to believe it doesn't mean I have to think it's the best thing on the planet it doesn't mean I have to agree with their beliefs but they have the right and I have the right to have my investments with any company I see fit investing in any way I see fit the same as you fucking do McV the fucktard. Okay. I hope this guy's face goes down in history as one of history's biggest losers. I hope he loses an arm and a leg over it, and I'm pretty sure he won't. I've been the anti-theocrat, and 
I will see you in the next one.